Over the years, the topics that hit my mailbox have run the gamut from black widows to black bears. But one species of wildlife stands head and shoulders above all others in terms of viewer interest, the flying window pecker. Actually, this is a species complex. Most often, the offending bird is a cardinal, with robins and chickadees coming in second and third. This, as I've often explained, is territorial behavior. The bird sees his reflection and tries to drive away the rival. Nesting season, right now, is the peak season for window pecker attacks, but they can occur most any time of year. So, what's the haggard homeowner to do? Obviously, getting rid of the reflection is the sure cure, but nobody boards up their windows unless they're going out of business. How about counterfeit predators? If they're motionless, I say don't bother. But birds usually figure out that even a bobblehead predator isn't the real deal. Over in York, though, Deb and Ben Stambaugh swear by fake snakes. They write, Place a snake on the sill or ledge. Bird is gone. We now have seven snakes on seven window sills. Generally, though, motion is the key, and bright flashing motion is best. My personal favorite for a quick, cheap fix are aluminum pie plates suspended in front of the window. Even a slight breeze keeps them flashing. Also over in York, obviously a hotbed for window peckers, Pat Ryer came up with this flasher variation. So far, so good, she says. If this decor is a bit ostentatious for your taste, try aiming a strong spotlight from inside the house onto the window under attack. And this spring, may your window panes be few. I'm Jack Hubley, News 8.